today we are going to be making a holographic animated clickable circle badge <laughs> i know that was a mouthful but it is equally interesting and I think useful and I think this is going to add a little bit of uh, modern touch to any website. I consider it as a, an add-on to your design to make your website a little bit more interesting, a little bit more, I would call it dynamic looking and as I said, modern. And we will be using a little bit of code and if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can still make it and I will show you a way that you can do this. I also have a video right here showing you one way but I will show you right now in this video a second way so let's get into it and let's make this all right so for the purpose of this video we are going to be using the text path widget and we are going to add it to our page and I'm going to add my text here and I'm gonna say get in touch and I am going to add a symbol and I will have the link to this page down below if you want to choose a symbol from here they're pretty cool modern symbol all right so i'm going to copy paste i copy pasted the text again and i'm going to change the path type to obviously circle because we want it to be circle and align it center and i'm going to change the text direction to left to right i'm not sure if this matters necessarily let's see if we change it to right to left ah it does matter but we are going to set it left to right and let's go to style. So we are going to size this down to a hundred pixels. I know it's pretty small, but bear with me. And let's give this a rotation of 30 degrees, a word spacing of 20 and starting point five. And now let's go to typography because this is where things start to take shape a little bit. I'm choosing the family font man rope. I'm going to size this to 28. Obviously, you can size it whatever size you want. You choose your whatever font you want. But bear in mind that these things will need to be adjusted, like weight, font, and so on and so on. Let's set the line height to EM and go up to 0.5. Letter spacing to 8.1, I think. I think it's my case but obviously you have to have a play around to see what looks good in your case with your text it's starting to look really good and right now we have to go further go to advance and this is where the extra magic happens so go all the way to backgrounds set your background type to classic and choose an image so in my case I'm going to choose this image and if you don't see what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to insert media and let me move myself again. It's looking funny, but let's adjust the image. So go to position, set this to center center, attachment, leave it like that. Repeat, no repeat, display size, custom. And we are going to leave this 100%. So let's go back to layout and we're going to change the position to be absolute. And it's starting to look much better, right? All right, so let's set the margin to minus 15 and the padding, hold on, because this is what's going to make it look like the original. And there you go. We have two equally gorgeous patches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to Z, Z index 9999 and as you can see now it's on top of the image and everything else on that page all right so what i'm gonna do is give this an id a css id of rotating text and i'm going to add my custom css there you go let me uncomment this and it's working right it's looking gorgeous and let's change this image to something else I have an example here and it's looking equally cool, right? And let's just have a simple plain image with nothing else and one without the grainy background. It's super holographic as you can see. I will have these assets in the description below because honestly 
It's not difficult to make them. I make them. I made them in Figma, but I'm going to save you time, I guess, if you like these colors. Anyway, all right. So another way we can customize this badge is by simply adding a background color instead of an image. So I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna choose one color that I have here and I'm going to change the border to percent and switch it to 50% and it's looking good, right? So I'm going to add an image inside here. Let's go to backgrounds, add an image, can be anything, let's see this one. And maybe we can make it smaller. And look how cool this is. Obviously you can customize it however you want. So let me add an image, an arrow that I have prepared here. And you can adjust the size of this however you like. And how cool is this looking right now? It's pretty professional, pretty modern, and I think it's pretty cool. And let me explain a little bit what you can do with this code. So if you want the animation to go in reverse, obviously you write reverse here. Whoopsies. And it goes in the opposite direction, but I don't think that's necessarily needed here and I will just delete it. You can also set the animation to go, for example, much faster, that's crazy fast, or much slower, which is very slow. It is all up to you and this is what you can do to customize a little bit the codes according to your own needs. All right, so in order to make this clickable, you have to go to content and add your link here and it can be a dynamic tag you can just link internally and choose for example your contact form to be accessible from this badge or anything else or just a simple link to whatever you want whatever you want all right so if you don't have elementor pro one way you can add code to your elementor is by actually installing a plugin and if you go to plugins you can add a new plugin and it's called code snippets and install the code snippets plugin activate it go to snippets and add your code right here so this is the format that you have to add it in basically you have to have the code wrapped in style tags and this function here and you will have to hit save and activate. Don't forget to hit activate because I did that mistake and I was wondering why it's not happening. And you can also set this to run everywhere or only uh, run on the site front end. It is all up to you. I would say it depends on your case. So here we are. We have a very beautiful set of circle badges that are animated and absolutely gorgeous. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.